welcome to another episode of Explore Charles County. I'm your host, Ashley Chenault, the Chief of Tourism for the Department of Recreation, Parks and Tourism. This month, we are celebrating National Travel and Tourism Week, which is a worldwide celebration of the hospitality industry, the businesses, and all the team members that work to support tourism. We want to promote people to come out and see our different sites and explore Charles County. So this month, we are excited to introduce you to the team. So join me as I talk to the team about National National Travel and Tourism Week and their roles in the Tourism Division. So I am joined by Ms. Brittany Gray, our Tourism Outreach Specialist. Uh, Brittany, what is your role in the Tourism Division? So as Ashley mentioned, I am the Tourism Outreach Specialist. So that means I attend trade shows to encourage group travel in Charles County. And I also attend community outreach events such as business mixers and the like. And so what trade shows have you attended since you joined the team? Um, so this year I have already attended the American Bus Association trade show and that was in Nashville, Tennessee. The Pennsylvania Bus Association trade show, which was in State College, Pennsylvania. But I look forward to attending a few more this year and a few more conferences as well. And what is the purpose of us attending trade shows? Um, so we attend trade shows just to share the news about all of the great things in Charles County and to also encourage groups, student groups, clubs um, to drive down and visit us. So Brittany, I know this is a loaded question, but what outreach partners do you work with? So, you know, in tourism, we work with several different partners. Um, some of the ones we work more closely with at this time are the Maryland Office of Tourism, Team Maryland, which is a branch of the Maryland Stadium Authority. And we also work closely with the Southern Maryland Heritage Area. So what is the focus of Team Maryland? So the focus of Team Maryland is to attract sports teams and sports groups to our area and make use of our fields and the beautiful facilities we do have here in Southern Maryland and in Charles County. So Brittany, where are we right now and what is your role with this site? So we are at Historic Stag Hall, which is one of my favorite places in Charles County. And I currently oversee the two amazing staff that we have operating this site. And what does the visitor experience look like here? So when the visitors come to Stag Hall, we like to share the history of Stag Hall, the former occupants of Stag Hall, and as well as history of Port Tobacco Village overall. Oh guys, speaking of Port Tobacco Village, what other partnerships exist here in the village? So in the village, we currently have the Port Tobacco Courthouse and the Washington Birch House, which we work closely with, um, with the Society of Restoration Port Tobacco. Uh, we also have worked with other groups, the Charles County Archaeological Society and the Paranormal Adventure Group, who's actually done an investigation in Stag Hall and on the other sites of the property. And that's an annual program that we do in the fall, typically, yes. right? And you can buy tickets online. You can. To attend that. So what programs are we currently executing here at the site? So at Stack Hall, we're currently doing guided tours. We hope to increase programming soon. We'll have docent guided tours and other interactive activities that will be available on the weekends. We also participate in Market Day, uh, which happens every spring uh, with vendors, musicians, artisans. We also work with Charles County Public Schools and we offer field trips and tours of Stag Hall for second grade students. And another thing that we do is we are a part of the holiday tour, which is a trail throughout the county of historic homes that are all decorated in period appropriate holiday decorations. And what is a little known fact about Stag Hall that you like to share with everyone? So one of my favorite pieces of Stag Hall is actually in the dining room. There is a window that has etchings of former residents and it has their names and dates, and it dates all the way back to the late 1800s. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite things about this cool. site as well. Like, absolutely. <laughs> so what are the future plans for this site? We are looking to offer some new programming, as I mentioned previously, um, and we are also going to be renovating Stag Hall, which is very exciting, um, in order just to keep up with the building, the maintenance, to continue to preserve it, um, and to make a better visitor experience for all who come. We need some upgrades and I'm excited to get that I'm renovation. I'm also very excited. My staff is also very excited. Yes. <laughs> uh, and what is your favorite place in the county? 
So my favorite place in the county is actually Smallwood State Park. Okay. Smallwood is a beautiful park. It has a lot of history. It's home to the Osprey Cam, where there are currently three chicks in the nest. So if you have not looked at the Osprey Cam, you should look at the Osprey Cam. And it's also home to Madawoman Creek Art Center, which is one of my favorite places to go as well. Okay. So thanks so much for joining the show today, Brittany. And now we're going to head over to Port Tobacco River Park to talk to our next team member. So I'm now joined by Miss Rachel Williams. She is our event coordinator for the division. Rachel, tell everyone where we are right now and why this is your favorite place in the county. Yeah, absolutely. So we are at the Port Tobacco River Park. This is my favorite place in the county because it is obviously very beautiful. And it's also a great place to come and relax and enjoy some nature. And what is featured here? So it, there are a few amenities we have. There is a nice little picnic area. There is a three mile trail. And then also the main event, we have the eagles. The eagles, so what, um, what can we talk about with the eagles? So our eagles, Hope and Chandler, are a mated pair that come here every year to lay their nest. Last year, they had three successful chicks, which was very exciting. Yeah, and is there, a pl is there somewhere that you can see this these eagles online? Yes. Perhaps? <laughs> yeah. So if you go onto YouTube and search for Port Tobacco River Trail Eagle Cam, it's right there. Okay, perfect. So what do you do for the division? So I'm the tourism event coordinator, which means uh, my job's a little bit twofold. It is both bringing events to the county and also hosting events in the county. And what events or programs have you brought to the division in Charles County? Mm. So we run two to five major events a year. We have the Charles County Classic Carb Show, the Fun Filled Fourth, Restaurant Week, and then we're actually looking to add a new exciting one this fall. Okay, perfect. What other ways do you support our tourism objectives? So in addition to hosting events, like I mentioned, we also support events in the county. We sit on a lot of event committees and then we also work with uh, organizations who want to bring events to the county. What other outreach and partnerships do you participate in? So one of the main partnerships we have is with the large scale fishing tournament organizers in the country like Major League Fishing. They love to come into Charles County on the Potomac River. We have one of the best spots for bass fishing in the nation. Mm -hmm. And we know that the fishermen, the anglers, they like to come in, they bring their families, they yes. stay mm -hmm. long because they want to know where the fish are biting. So we are really excited for that partnership and we'll continue to focus on sports tourism um, and the division. Are there any other places in the county you love to visit? Yes, really any of our parks are amazing, but I do really have a special spot in my heart for Gilbert Run. Okay, so we're gonna encourage everyone to go and visit our parks this National Travel and Tourism Week, and we are off to our next stop to meet our last team member in the tourism division. So I'm joined by Miss Maggie Boyden. She's our tourism marketing coordinator. Maggie, thanks for joining me today. No problem, thanks for having me. <laughs> Can you tell everyone where we are? We are at the beautiful St. Ignatius Church in Chapel Point. Mm -hmm. And the view is one of my favorite in the county. Yes, it is. Um, what's your favorite thing about this site? Well, you took the wind out of my sail, but first and <laughs> foremost is the view here. The second is as beautiful as it is on the outside, it is absolutely phenomenal on the inside, the beautiful stained glass, the rich history that's in there. It's just an amazing church to see. So is this site a part of a statewide marketing initiative? It is. It is one of the sites on the National Religious Freedom Byway Tour. Perfect. And what do you do for our department? I am the tourism marketing coordinator, which means I handle marketing to, of course, reach people outside of the county to come visit. So I handle the website, visitor guide, digital marketing campaigns, print campaigns, pretty much anything that has to do with marketing the county. Newsletter writing. Oh yeah, all of that stuff too. Social media content, all yeah, the things, all the marketing. Things. Perfect. And can you talk a little bit about our relationship with Maryland Office of Tourism and the marketing grant? Yes, each year we receive a grant from Maryland Office of Tourism. It's based on what our hotel taxes are, what we've spent on budgeting in the past, and they give us the grant to increase our marketing efforts within the county on a statewide and national level. 
Mm -hmm. So it's also important that we continue to grow our marketing budget because we are assessed on that as well for Maryland. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. How much money we spend depends on how much money they are willing to match and give us. And growth of the hotel accommodation tax as well. So if we're doing our job, (laughs) allegedly, (laughs) more people will come to the county and we'll increase our marketing dollars, correct? Yes, it is. Perfect. So what satellite tourism office do you oversee? I oversee the Welcome Center in Newburgh, Maryland. It used to be a state site in 2008. The county took it over. And while we still focus on other areas throughout the state, our main focus is, of course, here in Charles County and the Southern Maryland region. And what can someone expect, a visitor coming through there? What services do our staff provide them? Our, we have a great staff down there, and they are always willing to help people with directions, point you where you want to go, things you want to see, and, of course, give you those state maps. We love to hand out our state maps. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, what other niche projects do you work on in the division? I work on a lot of other duties as assigned, but um, I do a lot of... Um, media campaigns. I'm currently working with Fox 5 for a zip trip on August 15th. So if you're not busy, come on out and see us at the White Plains Park. We will be hosting a lot of different businesses and community groups, um, just showcasing what's here in Charles County. I also work with Maryland Department of Ag. We've done several different media campaigns with them focusing on ag tourism and watermen as well. Mm-hmm. And you also work to increase our photo inventory. Yes, and I do. We do a lot of components. We do a lot of video and photo shoots. I work with our county government media department as well and do a lot of those videos you see on our website and within our digital marketing campaigns. So those video components that we acquire in the photography, uh, how is it used? We use it in our visitor guide. Two years ago, we did a complete overhaul of our video guide, our visitor guide, I should say, and we used all new photography and we are in the process of doing that again and we will completely revamp it. Newer photos, different ideas, different things like that. With the video, we do a lot of digital marketing and our social media and things like that. We want to keep it fresh. We want people to see what's new and exciting here in the county. So we are always busy getting that stuff for the marketing campaign. Mm -hmm. And advertising for the businesses because Mm -hmm. we want to put heads and bids and people through their doors. Exactly. Um, So going back to the Welcome Center, are there any future plans at that site? Yes, we are currently I'm getting ready to completely remodel that site. It has not been touched since we took it over in 2008. So we have big plans to bring it into the future. Um, A lot more modernization, um, offering more of a digital aspect, a lot more pictures, a lot more focus on Charles County itself, not so much as a state site, but um, renovating the bathrooms and just making it a lot more friendly and accommodating to the visitors. Yeah, I'm really excited for those renovations. <laughs> so excited. Um, are there any other places in the county that you love to visit? Um, as a county born and raised resident, um, there is not much I don't love about Charles County. My family and I spend a lot of time at Blue Crabs games in the summer. We do go to a lot of the parks, getting out, taking a picnic. We love to paddle boat at Gilbert Run. My father is a waterman right here on this beautiful Potomac River behind us. So I spend a lot of time out there crabbing and fishing. And on the weekends, we love to get out there and ride on the boats. Okay, perfect. Get on the water, Maggie says, for National Travel and Tourism Week. Thank you, Maggie. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. It's always a great time to explore Charles County. Team, thank you so much for all that you do to support the hospitality businesses, the department, and the division. For more ways to learn how to celebrate National Travel and Tourism Week, visit our website at explorecharlescounty.com. Explore Charles County!